Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. More swing fixes coming at you from my golf app. We've got Stephen Buzzer. Hello. Thank you for joining us, Stephen. We're going to help this guy with his action. There's a bit of a funkiness down by impact. This swing actually almost goes not the way I was expecting it to as he makes the club back. Yeah, see, his downswing doesn't go the way I was expecting it to, subject to where the face is, and then he kind of recovers it with a flip, doesn't he? Let's show you what I mean. Let's get stuck in. Right, Steve, let's look at this swing. Uh, interesting, this one. He takes the club back and we see a little bit of club twisting this way. Yeah, fan. A fraction, yeah. So I, open, people call it. I would say kind of twisting it that way. <laughs> <laughs> open to what? Uh, top of his back swing, again, it looks a little bit twisted as he starts down. And this is a swing where I'd expect it to go a bit more that way. But he doesn't. He comes down on not a bad kind of path, recovers it by giving it the old flippalicious. Yeah. Flopadopolis down at the bottom, hey? gives, <laughs> gives it a little bit of uh, down at the bottom. What's that going to do to old Loftus? Loft it up. Bit of dynamic. Yeah, a bit of uh, the old dynamicness. Also, if, that, if he doesn't fix that with that rotation, he's going to lose him out to the right, you'd imagine. Struggle a little bit with striking as well. He does look a little bit hang back as well. So there's a few faults leading on from what's happened. It's, it's one kind of, of these, snowballs. It's one of these swings. If golf didn't involve having to deal with this head squaring, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we were having a competition, who can get it to? Or relating to yeah. a puff. So I struggle with squaring, just to correct the bearded man there. Because um, squaring to what? Because obviously, I just to, no head. in this example, there's no head. <laughs> so let's, let's stop that. There's no head. Let me finish. So if, he, if he had a speed gun and you were just trying to swing and get, get it to go past that gate and who can go the quicker. Mm. That swing is very good. Problem is, as he's turned it open, or turned it, twisted or twisted it, it, or whatever yeah. you like to call it, <laughs> as soon as he twists it, from here, he now has to compensate and do other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This swing, especially in its deep nature, mm -hmm. he's actually in a great position to do good things. If he had the face all yeah, a different angle, shut, yeah, yeah. he'd be able to twist it differently. That ball if he twisted it, or yeah. did a little twirl <laughs> with it. But the, the swing is actually good. Yeah, there's some good movements, yeah. isn't there? There's, it, just, I mean, it doesn't quite match. In that deep position, I don't like seeing it open. No. He, he might be able to flip it and get it there. but Which I, he does, I yeah. think, quite successfully. But I, I think he could do a lot better. I mean, for me, we can't quite see because it's quite dark, the yeah. picture. But for the grip, yeah. I would go back to your grip. I would imagine, as a guess, I would argue maybe a little bit high for his palm. Yes. Can't see that, but check that. So try and get it lower in your palm. And I would argue maybe seeing one knuckle where I would like you to see two and a half, even three. Just to feel then when you take the club back, it starts turning the club around the shaft this way slightly more. Yeah. Which then when as you come down and hit the ball, you won't need to feel like you haven't given it the old floppadopolis. You can just let it go and try and hit it. I How think, come I can't say a little open and you can say floppadopolis? Because, Stephen, <laughs> I have a lot more experience than you. <laughs> I can say what I like. <laughs> I think, personally, Flopadopoulos kind of, I think it sums it up beautifully. Because one thing I hate, just to go back, one thing I just like hate, which is why I say things like that, it's golf coaches, right? <laughs> oh God, I'm off again. Or certain people, <laughs> but who feel like if you say bigger words, or more scientifically based words around, say, the body, I'm going to call it the thorax, or I'm going to say, um, you know, flexion or whatever, lots of people are instantly going, well, this instruction doesn't help me now because I don't know what he's on about. I don't know what flexion of the left wrist at that point means. No. So what's the point in teaching yeah. if the person you're delivering at can't understand even the language that you're using. I agree. So anyway, let's get back to so you're in the floppadopolis. <laughs> yeah, so but that person won't need to do that because if they get the club twisting about the shaft yeah. slightly differently through their swing, hopefully that or through their, the use of their grip, yeah. they will just be able to let the swing go a little bit at the bottom. This is what, good, rather than feel this like is they a have to. A good example flip as well is even if the grip doesn't look too bad, yeah. he can't hurt his situation by trying a slightly stronger. Yeah. yeah. A, slightly more on top because that's going to have that effect yeah yeah we're trying to get that effect sometimes we look at clips as in is it right or is it wrong but we need to add a bit more it's functional effect. again yeah, i agree so his grip works in a way and um, functions where the club face has to twist a bit around the axis of the shaft which means he's going to hit the ball to the right 
unless he lines it up by pulling the handle yeah. back, which is then adding loft. It's very simple, um, rather than what I'm trying to get him a swing where he feels like the handle's twisted maybe a fraction that way. Yeah. And he can even hit the ball with the handle slightly forward then if he wanted to and then control loft in a different way. Slightly de-lofting, maybe getting a better penetrating flight, those kind of things. And often with the handle forward, that strike can move the uh, low point slightly further forward when if you're rotating the club or the face around that axis of the shaft uh, and then you lean the club back, often for me that would make me feel like I'm going to bottom out a bit early as well. So again, it snowballs on. I, I like this swing. I I'm, we're not even suggesting he can't hit the ball like this. Yeah, yeah. I just really like the swing. I think if he made these few changes, he... Uh, yeah, he could fly off, couldn't he? Yeah, because I also think as well, people, when they start getting a driver out using that technique, yes. we start seeing bigger holes yes. when that club's moving faster and then you're even putting different turns in there and what have you. I would like to see a, a different functional grip yes. rather than a right or wrong. I mean, Elazabal won, was it two majors with a weak grip? Um, so not seeing enough knuckles, he would have had it in a stronger part of the palm, but he wouldn't have been seeing enough knuckles, you would never have changed him. Um, so for me, it's really about trying to get the club head to function differently, so from different twists through a different hold, and then doing a lot of the good movements he's doing, I think. Good stuff, Stephen. Thank you. A little bit lost in the middle there, but you brought it back well there, you brought it back well there, because I was off, I was going for it there. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to do, it's like that great video on YouTube where that guy you're does the lesson. Oh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.